Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this Type With Me video, we will show you how to work with Storybook and React.js. With Storybook, it's nice to build stories around uh, components and easily isolate these components so that you can very easily test it out and see how they work on their own. They are integrated with a lot of great um, web libraries like React, React Native, Vue, Angular, Ember, and so on. So let's go and see how this works with a React application. So to add a storybook to your project, you can use this. Or you can just install Storybook CLI globally, or you can just use MPX to get the CLI and execute SB in it on top of your React application. <clears throat> so like I said, this will get the Storybook CLI from NPM and then it will execute uh, SB in it on top of it. And um, yeah, he will add uh, dot storybook folder and he will also add extra features uh, which I'm going to explain into this tutorial, right? So he's getting all these packages and then he will execute it. So now he has all the packages and you see now he detects that it's an Angular application and he will do the right things for Angular, right? Isn't that great? So one of the things that I'm going to change here is the stories. Um, so you have stories within the stories folder, but I also want to have um, just my stories with uh, dot stories dot js so whatever i create as a component can be of um, of a story right so it's up to you if you want to have a stories folder or if you want to have your stories dot js file next to your components so now it just needs to uh, have all things there but we can just look into what he already created right so one of the things that he already created is uh, for example something like a welcome component and you will see that a welcome component is within the add storybook slash react slash demo and the same is here within button and then you will see that you just can create very easily uh, an emoji for example that's just button with some kind of uh, actions so every const that you have within these stories uh, will be uh, a story all right and we can just have an export default with the title but so now we can start storybook with yarn storybook and you will see that he starts storybook And we have here our welcome and also a text and an emoji. And when we click on the emoji, nothing happens. But okay, that's not a problem, right? Great. All right, so now we can do something like to do dot 
Jets, right? Which is our to do React component. We also need to save this. So now we will create our new to do to do dot stories dot js right so here we do export of title to do so any underneath that we can define a lot of stories right so if we go and look here you will see that we have text and emoji and these are two stories and it's just nice because here we can just do something similar right we can do in order to do here something like this but then with to do and we can do here the import of our to do and of course This has something else, and we don't have this right. So all the rest we can remove to do with normal state, for example, whatsoever. All right? Then we can have here some const. And this is, has a title make tutorial about story book done or false. And then of course we can do here to do item and then we now save this So one of the mistakes that we have made now is that we don't have the import of React. So we do so. We'll see that he refreshes everything. And now we have our component, which is uh, something that has for the following capabilities of to-do item, right? So when we want to have a to-do item with a checked state, can very easily do that. The only thing that I need to do is with checked state. And then of course here we have something like Do it like this, and then we have it like this, right? So that's great. We save it, so you will see, you will compile it again. So now we have our new component here, and when we go to okay, so this needs to be checked, right? 
and this needs to be true. So when we now go to storybook, you see two stories. One is to do with checked state and one is to do with normal state. So it's easy to play a little bit with that, right? So another thing that you can do is create actions. For example, here, export const actions on DOM, and that's the action on DOM, right? So here we have that. And then here, when we do dot 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 actions, this one gets the action. And we can do the same here. And then, of course, in the to do dot GS, we need to do something like the on change. And we have on done. Right. Now we save that. Now, when we go to this one, and we try to do the undo, you see that we get the action undo. The same here, when we do this, we get the action undo of undone, right? So it executes the action correctly, like we would have. Of course, we have here also our action. We can very easily fix that by just remove the export. Everything that you export will be seen as um, story. So when we now go to our stories page, we get this one. When we click on it, we get our action undone. When we click on it, we get our action. When we click on it, we get our action. When we click on it, we get our action. This is great, right? It's very easy to debug your components, to work with your components separately. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will, cho will choose to use Storybook uh, right away. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. And see you next time. Bye.